hello welcome back to my channel this is lenti so with nani today i'll be showing you how to make a maxi circle dress very very beautiful so you can see the length of my pattern paper is as long as from here to the vanija because i want the length of this dress to be very full to be very um full yes it has to be overflowing from the shoulder to the floor length okay so um you need to take the measurement for yourself or that of your client now from the upper part i'm going to come down i'm just going to make a mark there as my shoulder line okay so you can see this my pattern paper has gone through a lot you should raise go for me for this pattern paper i also taped super glued everything just to get it to be very long okay to accommodate the length that i want now from the um that shoulder line i'm going to come down at 9.5 inches for my chest line the chest line is derived by dividing your bust by six plus two inches so the next measurement i'm marking right there is my half length which is 18 inches then afterwards i'm going to mark the length of my dress okay the length that i want i want 60 inches long that way I would help you people to keep Nigeria clean. Like when I'm working, I'll be sweeping the floor for you people and keep the country clean. Right? That's what I want. So the length, even as I'm not that tall, I still want the length to be 60 inches. I want to keep my beloved country clean. Right? So the length of your dress plus one inch hemming allowance. Right? So I want 60 as the length of my dress. Then I'm going to add one inch for hemming allowance. Right? So I've almost consumed the whole paper. You'll be thinking this person is very tall. Meanwhile, I'm very humble, very down to earth, very, um, you know, just very close to the ground. So I will connect. I just make a straight line at this point, just, you know, highlight them so that you can see the lines we are working on. Right, so I'm teaching us how to make this from scratch. So if you're a beginner, okay, just join me gently, small, small. We'll just get through, you know, we'll just climb through the ropes together. So you can see. So I'll just be teaching us how to make a basic dress. They're using slash and spread method. I'll transfer the basic dress into a maxi circle dress. It sounds like magic, I'll be me too. It sounded like magic when I was learning. So what I'm marking here now is my hip line. That's the 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 distance from your waist to hip is around 7 to 10 inches depending on individual if the person is short 7 inches uh, the person is uh, medium height 8 inches very tall 9 inches they're very 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 tall like goliath 10 inches uh -huh. so on the shoulder line i'm going to mark half of my shoulder measurement my shoulder is 16 that means half of it is 8 i'll be so i mark 8 on the shoulder line and also mark it on the chest line okay then connect it in a straight line that's what i've just done now the next thing is your neck width and your neck depth how wide your neck will be and how deep the neck could be just so that all of us will be understanding now so me i'm doing four inches okay at the wideness that's the neck width then one inch for the neck uh, depth for the back i'll be using this my one pattern paper to cut the front and the back at the same time Sapa is holding all of us. I don't want to be wasting paper. So then for the front neckline, I'm coming down by 6 inches. So the neck depth for the uh, front is 6 inches. Now the thing is that you want your neck depth to be wide enough. To Sorry, your neck depth to be deep enough. And your neck width to be wide enough to accommodate your head. The coconut head that I have. Because this dress is not going to be having any zip at the back. Okay, so if you if you are doing the jelly holy merger and your neckline is not deep enough, my sister, you make the dress and you cannot enter inside because there's no zip at the back. So I'm even increasing my neck width to pop to 4.5 okay it's because this daughter of zion is on the plus size right so that my head my coconut head can enter then on the shoulder line i'm going to come down by one inch for my shoulder slope then i connect it to the neck width so the neck width i've done here is 4.5 one inch neck depth for the back and six inches neck depth for the front then at that shoulder line, i'm going to mark half inch that's my seam allowance to join the shoulder together afterwards i want to draft my armholes i'm going to mark from the shoulder slant to the length my chest line mark half of that then at that point i'll come in by 0 0.75 or 0 0.5 depending on what you want to do anyone is okay on the chest line now i'll now mark my boss divided by four plus quarter of an inch is allowance then one inch seam allowance you know it's a free 
dress it's a magazine it dress so we don't want it to be very clean it's, we don't want it to be clean very fitted to our body at that chest line so that's why i just added quarter inch as is allowance okay then i'll now draft my armhole so i'll connect from my shoulder slope to the 0 0.5 or 0 0.75 that you came in word by and also connect it to where you marked your bust measurement right so we've drafted our armhole now the next thing will be to take the waist measurement on the half length so on the half length you mark your waist divided by four plus half inch uh, is for those of us that we ate too much and our belly became big so i just want ease allowance so that is not too tight so ease allowance of half inch one inch that allowance and one inch seam allowance that's what i marked on the waistline then on the hip line you're going to mark um quarter of your hip measurement plus one inch those of us that our we we went on vacation when, when god was creating flat tummy and big hips the difference between my waist and my hip is not so much it's just two inches so you can see that i don't have that um big that sweet sloppy hip curve you know that curvy line that we do have at the hip daughter of zion was sleeping when god was creating hips and flat tummy so you can see my own curve can look at how it looks like almost like there's no hip who will i blame nobody so whatever i have on the hip i'll measure it and then go and mark it on the length of the dress as i cannot come and keep myself now so on the length of my dress i'll mark exactly what i have on my hip line okay so this is it right also mark it on the seam allowance as well okay so i'll go and get my long ruler that's the other water bottle of all these my rulers are seeing these ones are learning work that ruler can give me line from here to jerusalem okay so look at them do you make for this my ruler yes so uh, i'll then connect i've connected from the waist the boss to the waist and to the hip okay so i'm not connect from the hip to the length of the dress using the water water of all my rulers right so i'll just connect connect kwano now and uh here -huh, i've connected right so afterwards uh the next thing to do is just to draft out my dart now for my dart you need your bust pan measurement the bust pan is nipple to nipple measurement that's the distance from one nipple to the other okay so for me it's eight so i'll divide that by two and mark four so i'm marking the bust pan on the half length on the hip line then you also need your boss point for this okay so i'll just introduce the boss point boss point is the distance from the shoulder is the measurement from the shoulder to the top of your nipple for me it's 11 inches i've marked 11 inches and i'll then go and connect in a straight line like so this right here is the bust point so just for that sake that's why i brought in this boss point if not we don't need it for this tutorial right so i also mark the same bust pan on the bust point half length hip length i'll connect them in a straight line right so i would also um, mark the same thing on the length of the dress okay then also connect it to the length of the dress so on the length of the dress i also mark my um, bust span half of my bust span measurements right there okay also to the length of the dress then i'm coming with the agabata bata of them all to connect okay just to give me a very straight line okay so like so i'll then connect hmm. yes yeah, so that's it so the next thing will be to take my dart now remember i added my dart allowance of one inch okay at the waistline so i'm going to just take my dart now so one inch would mean having a dart of half inch on both sides of this my boss pan lines i'm marking um half inch on both sides although this my dart allowance i don't need it to because when i cut out this dart okay and spread because i'll be using slash and spread method to get this maxi circle dress okay so from the hip line i'll come up by two inches then from the bust point i'll come down by one inch just note them from the hip line you go up by two inches from the bust point to come down by one inch so i'm just going to connect them sequentially from the bust point to the half length okay to that half inch okay then to the two inches above the hip line for the left hand side the same thing for the other side connect from the bust point to the half length and to the two inches we came up from the hip line okay so that's how to connect on that before that i was saying i don't need the 
that allowance too because by the time you cut this that out and use slash and spread method you, you see that you have um your that allowance back okay so but i'm just so i'm just adding the that allowance in because uh, this pattern i might use it to make another design okay so i need to have my that allowance back because after cutting out this pattern i was just to use it uh, next time to make another design that is not necessarily this um, maxi half circle dress okay so that's why we create patterns okay so that when next you have something to do you can just know you know get your pattern transfer it to your fabric and that's it so i'm just cutting out like so okay so you cut out then when you get to the neckline you just cut the back neckline first okay so the back neckline first then through to the shoulder slope okay to that half inch um, allowance that we left for the shoulder slope right so this is the pattern right so you can go ahead and slash out your your darts but i'll just be doing that um much later i'll just show you how to fold the fabric okay so i'll be using two fabrics for this i'll be making two these two different uh, dresses so i'll show you how to fold with this particular one okay so I'll be, i want to make two one for myself one for my mom all right so i'll be using this for myself okay then the other um, the other fabric for my mom so i'll be showing us how to fold the fabric right so um right so um depending on the fabric you're using now for your choice of fabric you have to use a lightweight fabric um you know silk uh, chiffon or um crepe so the length is usually by 60 right so you fold into two like so okay along the width okay for this particular one i have three yards i have three yards for this fabric i'm holding so you fold into two that's one and a half then you fold into another two so you're folding into four like this okay so for for uh, people with shorter height now but if you're working with someone that has a long uh, that is quite taller so you can use like four yards okay so you just fold the fabric into two along uh, the 60 inches length okay then fold back into two like so so it depends on the length you're working with so i have three yards now and that this would be for myself okay i'm not my mom is quite taller than me so this is how i'll fold first fold uh, the three yards width into two then you fold into another two but if you're working with someone that is quite taller and the length is six 16 inches which is usually the length of the dress of the which is usually the length of the fabric you fold along the yardage okay so you can use like four yards so you fold into two then fold into another two right so i've placed the pattern on the fabric and you can see this is from this particular fabric is for myself okay i've taken that out so then i'll now work with the one i left the measurement for with the pattern paper the one i use the measurement to cut the pattern paper which is for that of my mom's all right so when i'm done with hers i'll then trim off the excess then use it to cut for myself right so that's what i did i used two stones to kill one bed i be i'll be one bed one stone to kill two breads <laughs> all right so okay i'll then go and cut um through my dart elements okay on my dart line i'll just go cut it out so what i did for this folding this is four yards of fabric okay so i folded into two that's i folded it into half then folded it back into again okay so that's what i did so uh, i'm cutting through the darts like so all right then i'll go and cut open the that i'll just cut out that that okay the one inch that you know it's half inch on the both side so i'll just go and cut it out okay like so then cut the other side now you can see i'm on the floor because it, you might not be able to freely cut this on a table that is not very wide and long okay so that's why um, I, I usually use the floor for this kind of project now so i'll just go and uh, place the pattern directly on the fabric okay 
So I'll just go and place it like so. You can see how I'm placing it, making sure that the center front matches the edge of the fabric. Then you can go ahead and pin it down, okay, so that it's not moving around, right? So I've I've held it down to my fabric using my pins, but and I've spread it. So depending on how much spread that you want, I can go and cut it open to the bust point line. Okay, just to help me spread it a little bit wider, depending on how much, how free and how flowing you want it to be. All right, so I'll just go and pin that side, like so. Just to hold it down, okay. So you can you can spread it. I've slashed you, you slash and spread method, okay. You slash the pattern and spread on the fabric, right? So I'll slash the pattern. So I'm spreading on the fabric. You can use eight inches to ten inches to spread, right? So depending on how full you want, you can spread to the end of um, the fabric. Depends depends on the fullness that you want, okay. So I had to slash up to the bust point so that the pattern paper can move. As wide as I want, right? So I've I've spreaded it to I've spreaded it because I've spread it to the uh, width that I want, right? So um, I'm measuring it again. I have um nine inches, and that's okay for my spread, right? So I'll just go and pin it down so that when I'm cutting, it's not moving around. You also want to make sure that it laps um very well on the fabric. So you can see why I said you don't need to add your your dart allowance back. Look at the waistline. Okay, after after spread, you can see that I have more than my that allowance. I think I have up to two inches at that point. Meanwhile, your that allowance is one inch. So when you are sewing, you, you need to take note of this so that you don't have a very wide or a very free dress. Okay, you don't have your measurements in excess. Okay, so you can just cut. Then when you are shaping, you shape, uh, you may take the waist measurement and the bust measurement. Okay, then from there, you now sew to the length of the dress. Okay, that's a way to not have it very big because this allowance is just going to add this spreading has added some allowances to your waist and your hip you can see the waistline and the hip line because of the spread i'm sure you can see the allowance it has given so it's just going to add um so much allowance to your dress right and if you don't want that if you don't want that you need to take your measurements again after cutting okay so that when you're sewing you sew with your accurate measurements right so i'm done cutting it out okay so i'll cut through the shoulder and the back neckline okay shoulder and back neckline like so okay so you just have to um sympathize with your knees okay for you to make this just you know bribe your knees you can buy buy your knees something nice like a chilled drink because of the good work that they are doing amen so i take out the pattern okay so you can see it's it has given me a flat dress it's a maxi circle dress okay because you know circle skirts you fold into four the same way i folded one into four so I open it up and take out one piece okay you can see gently 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 okay just take out one piece so that piece i've taken out is now the back um piece Okay, not that I'll tell you not cut this out. So I'll take it out and then go and cut out the front neckline. Okay, so I've taken out one piece, which is for the back. All right, so I'll come back and pin this very well. Then trim out the fr front neckline on the pattern. Like so. Then I'll then place the pattern on the fabric. Pin it down so that it's not moving around. Okay. You can see what I'm doing. I'm not fast forwarding this area so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay. If not, I'll be doing shoko 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 just fast, 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 fast. Please, what is shoko shoko shoko? Ah ah. Alright. So you pin, then you cut out. Like so. Right, so this is it, and you're basically done. Once you're done cutting, you just go and cut your basic sleeve. I have a tutorial that I'll be posting in the description box. I'll be posting the link in the description box. So you go and pipe the neckline with your bias, attach your basic sleeve on your pocket. I love you guys, you know. You know I love you, okay? So just go turn the head neckline 
with your bias and attach your sleeve. So you can say, I made two, one for myself, one for my mom. One is bigger than me. You can, you can see. So this is what I have. Till I see you next time. I love you. Bye.